We're out here on an adventure today. We are looking for fiddleheads and fireweed shoots and anything else that we can find. We've been working really hard in the garden, so it's nice to take a break. And we've had some really nice weather yesterday and today. It was like upper 70s, so super, super warm. And it's clearly, I'm gonna call it summer in Alaska. It's not quite summer, but all of the foliage is emerging. It's muddy, there's really no snow anywhere. So it's an awesome time to be doing some early foraging. So it looks like Bennett was the first to find something. <laughs> These are moose bones. That's why we are cautious of looking for bears too, because they've also woken up at this point. So this is not what we're looking for, but we did find some false hellbore. It's toxic, so we're not gonna be picking it. It's a really cool plant. It comes up in this big shoot, and I mean, it just totally dies back in the winter. So you can't see it, of course, because there's snow. It's really, really pretty to look at. There's also wild geraniums and lupin out here. They haven't flowered yet. They have the really pretty purple flowers and just lots of other little plants. We don't know what all of them are, but we're gonna keep looking for what we're after. Bo's already hot. He is looking for shade in the forest. This year we got banded a bell uh, just because he's usually off leash and he's the one that walks ahead of us. He likes to be the leader and so it, is to help be a bear deterrent and then you can kind of put a little magnet on it if you don't want it to go off so it's a pretty cool little bell i got one for myself too so the area we're looking for is more shaded that's where the ferns grow this looks pretty good over here and i can tell it's kind of a wet area because of the plants that are growing Okay, so we actually found both of what we were looking for. Fireweed grows in sunny areas and it also grows pretty well in moister areas as well. So that's why it's here. But we also found the fiddleheads or the little fronds of the ferns back behind me. This looks like a really good spot. So I'm gonna get my basket all opened up. These are the fireweed shoots and they get much bigger, but when they first come out, this is how they look. They actually have already started to open up, but that's okay. We only wanna harvest them when they're young and tender like this, so super flexible. Once they get a little bit bigger, they'll start to get a hard stalk. So they're really only good to eat at this point. We harvest the leaves and the flowers in the summer for tea. I really, really like the scent of fireweed and we've used it for jelly, but we have not eaten them like this. Well, we also found something else. <laughs> this is called watermelon berry or twisted stalk. And you can eat the shoots too when they're really young. And what I'm doing, there is a prolific amount of these berries and flowers out here, but I'm still kind of just picking and choosing. I'm only taking so much from one area and then I'm gonna kind of hop over to another area. So I'll probably take this one just cause it looks a little better. And these do set off little berries that taste just like watermelon. It's really, really, strange actually so these are some of the easiest things to harvest these uh fiddleheads they're like a like a big fern they pretty much just breed mosquitoes at least that's what they did in oregon i was always chopping them down but here we come after them and we eat the little shoots and one thing about these is you don't want to eat them raw i made that mistake last year i was kind of just eating them while we were picking them and i didn't tell ariel and i got really sick that night so <laughs> don't eat them raw uh you want to you don't want to pick them when they're tall like this. I don't know if you can see that. They've kind of already unraveled or unrolled and kind of ferned out. You want to get them when they're like a little snail shale, they're really close to the ground. The bigger, the better, like these ones down in here. So it looks like that. It kind of has like a papery, I don't know, leaf, dead leaf on the outside. They take a little while to clean. We clean them at home in water, but once they're cleaned up and cooked, they kind of taste like, a, like an asparagus. So these are really good. The fireweed shoots, you can eat these raw. I've never had one. Let's try one, see what it tastes like. Okay, that, all, that also tastes like a, like a raw asparagus. And then this is the watermelon berry stock. Let's try this, you can eat these. That tastes exactly like a underripe cantaloupe. It's pretty good. Okay, we got a bunch of these fiddleheads here. Ariel's got this new little knife she bought and it's like a little mini neck knife since she usually doesn't have pockets she's got a little knife for her necklace and this is working pretty good to get in here and get this little job done
Found a skull out here, some more bones. We're in a different spot, but sometimes the moose die out here. That's what that is. So the window of opportunity to harvest is pretty short for a lot of these things. Um, you want to get them when they're young, like Eric mentioned, and this is a huge state, so it just depends on the year and where you're at, but this is like the perfect time right now. Some of them have definitely unrolled too much, but then there's still a lot that are really low down to the ground that are going to come up. And literally, I mean, I want to say it's like a week. You got like a week to get in here and get them when they're prime. That's a nice one. So it's turned out to be a good day out here. There is a lot of mosquitoes. So I don't know if shorts and a t-shirt was the best idea, but we're actually finding a lot of these watermelon berry shoots. And we've only eaten the berries before, so these are actually pretty good. I like these ones. We are not out here to like put away food for the year. We're kind of just out here to get enough for a couple meals. We're getting there. We got this little, little bin she's filling up, but we've got a couple cool little meals planned for these. So these should be fun. I think that we have more than enough so we're probably gonna start kind of walking back. Yeah, walk out of here. Beautiful day today, not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, it's been really, really fun. Yep. And very good weather. Not that bad of mosquitoes yet because nothing's really, really leafed out yet. No, but we're gonna walk back. I think we're gonna try to look for a couple more of the uh, fireweed. fireweed shoots because we didn't get that many of those. And Polaris is doing awesome. We haven't really tested her out too much because this trail's, this trail's not too bad, but no problems with her yet so far. We made it back to the side by side and I just wanted to point this out. I know it's super obvious, but there are plants out here that are toxic and we know quite a bit about what we're looking for. We've had a few years under our belt of living here. I do a lot of research online. I have a few books that are guides. And so it's just important to know that there are plants that are similar to the ones that also are the ones that you're after. Um, a lot of berries. There's a lot of berries here in Alaska. Currants, cloudberries, salmon berries, so many, and blueberries. In fact, I have a little blueberry bush right to my left here. It's just starting to form. The blueberries are these cute little pink flowers. So those are not gonna be ready for a lot longer, probably August, September. We came, we conquered, and we are headed home. Come on, Bo. Come on, you gotta come on. Come on. Well, the fireweed shoots and the watermelon berries, those are easy to clean. You just wash them like a veggie. But the uh, little fiddlehead ferns, those take a little bit of time. You gotta kinda scrub them a little bit. We usually like to kinda put them in the water, scrub them. I think what we're gonna do first though is we're gonna kinda lay them out, get everything separated. That way um, we could just clean the fiddleheads because these, besides the fiddlehead ferns, those are pretty much ready to go. Nice. Well, good. Look at that, that looks like an asparagus. Mm-hmm. What's the shoot? Shoot. How do you stick them? them and you go like this. That rub them. That doesn't unroll them too much? No, you, you can't, don't unroll them. Just kind of rub them, scrub them, and then just 
You gotta just take take them really hot, I guess. Can we rinse them in the water? Uh, no. Let's clean them first. And then we'll rinse them again. Alrighty, a clean fiddlehead fern. Probably took, I don't know, maybe 20, 20 minutes to clean all these, so not too bad. Man, these look really good, nice and fresh. We're gonna head inside, we're gonna cook them up. We're getting started on processing all the veggies we just picked, and first thing we're gonna make is we're gonna make some like sweet pickled watermelon shoots and fireweed shoots. So I'm gonna get them chopped up, get them cleaned off a little bit more. We're gonna put them in a brine, we're gonna have some awesome pickled veggies. So this time of year we start to run out of canned food, but right now we do have a lot of pickled food left. So we're just gonna make one big jar of these and we're going for like a quick pickle. We're gonna put these in a nice vinegar brine and they're pretty much just gonna stay in the fridge for maybe about a week and then they'll be ready to eat. I'm gonna do like maybe one inch chunks in there. Sounds pretty good to me. I'm gonna rinse these off one more time and we'll get them in a mason jar. It smells like something very specific and I don't know. Unripe cantaloupe, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like a fresh green, like grass, Anyways. like a blades of grass. That's good. Oh yeah, I guess grass. <laughs> Okay, we've got a clean quart jar. We're just gonna pack this in here. This looks, it looks and smells amazing. I bet this is gonna turn out great. Okay, like I said, we're going sweet on this. So we're gonna put a little sugar and we're gonna do a mix of a little red wine vinegar. We're gonna do apple cider vinegar. We'll just do a little bit of water and then I'll put some other seasonings in there. Let's start with this apple cider vinegar. This is the one Ariel made, man, a year and a half ago. We still got some left. This is really good stuff. All right, we added salt, and I also added some black peppercorns and some brown mustard seed, and that's it. Super simple, we got some pickled veggies here. I would wait probably at least a week for these, but these are gonna be a great topping to have. Next, we're gonna get started on some dinner, because we're getting hungry. Okay, we're getting started on our flat bread. I'm gonna call it, we're gonna be making kind of like a little flat bread for the fiddleheads. Uh, similar to like pizza crust, but a little bit different. I'm just adding some baking powder, not that much. I don't want it to rise too much. And some salt and some olive oil. We're gonna be cooking this in none other but our cast iron. And we're gonna be cooking the bread just a little bit so it gets a little toasty before we add all of our ingredients on top. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna finish it off with another little dosing of olive oil and we're gonna get it in the oven. We're gonna start on cooking our veggies for the flatbread. This is garlic preserved in olive oil. Ariel did this last year from last year's garlic and she keeps it in the freezer until we're ready to use it and then we keep it in our fridge. I'm gonna use some of this infused olive oil. It's cold right now, it just came out of the fridge. Get some nice flavor in there. I think I'm actually gonna throw a couple garlic cloves in there too. This, another one of my favorite things. These are morel mushrooms. These are dried. Believe it or not, these are actually almost a year old and we still have some of these. Morel season is probably just a couple weeks away. We're really looking forward to that. I'm gonna use some of these. I'm gonna save this liquid. This is the liquid I rehydrated the mushrooms in. I'm gonna save this maybe for tomorrow or something. This stuff has so much flavor. On the flatbread, we're just gonna be putting the fiddleheads, but since we have not tried the watermelon berries or the fireweed shoots, I'm gonna saute a few of these and we're just gonna try them as is. But we're gonna add all this in here now. All right, salt and pepper. We're just gonna lightly cook these. They're, they're getting there. I'm gonna stir them up and they're just about ready to go on that bread. All right, it's time for a taste test. There you go. Fiddleheads. We've had these before. Oh no. Broccoli? Right? They taste to me like a broccoli stem. Yep. Mm -hmm. More so oh, than man. asparagus. Those Good. are delicious. I really liked them last year. You can cook them a lot of different ways too. These fireweed shoots are super delicate. They're almost like a green. Oh my gosh. That one's good. The fireweed shoots are amazing. I think you're going to like that one better. It tastes like a... I mean, it does have cucumber and melon, but honestly, that just, I don't know, fresh? Fresh. 
Asparagus. Try that it. That tastes like raw asparagus. You need to try those fireweed shoots. Those are the best thing I've ever had. The fireweed shoots have more flavor. Fireweed shoots. Right. It tastes like extremely favorable asparagus. Those have more flavor. I'm a bigger fan of this, the thicker stock. Yeah, you get more meat off the watermelon berries. Mm -hmm. There's more to bite on, too. Well, those are both really delicious. Oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. I think a lot of people really, it's common to just saute them in a little oil or butter and garlic because they're just so, they have so much flavor on their own. That is so good. This tastes like some a veggie you pick out of the garden. That's amazing. You want to show this one? You can have it. Okay. We're going to head out to the garden to get some fresh herbs to top our bread. Yep. Well, things are growing out here. It's a really early season, but we're able to harvest some of our herbs. Just get a couple leaves of this basil. Let's head out and grab some parsley. Just need a couple. Just taking, just taking a little bit of the parsley because it's still so small, but we need some flavor in this. The chives, on the other hand, these overwinter here. The, the chives are amazing. I've been pulling off these like handfuls every day. So let's get a bunch of chives. A little salt and pepper, and then we're gonna save that basil for when it comes out. We're gonna put the basil on there raw. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Since we have extra fireweed shoots and the watermelon berry shoots as well, or stalks, we are going to try something different. We're gonna try fermenting them. See no reason why this shouldn't work. Um, we're just gonna make the standard brine, which is one to three tablespoons of salt. We're using kosher salt to one quart of water. So, should work out fine. We've done this a lot with our vegetables from the garden but I've yet to try it with a wild food. I'm gonna start with just two tablespoons. I've got it in a little bit of warm water so it slightly starts to dissolve. I'm just gonna layer these in there. We're keeping it whole. Okay, we're topping it off with our water. There we go, we want everything submerged. And I always like to leave a little bit of room because it generally bubbles. That's what happens if it's working right. And we're just going to add a lid. And I like to just lightly screw it on so it has air exchange. We're going to put it on the back counter. This thing is smoking hot. I wanted to let it cool. Ariel's like, no. So we're eating. <laughs> It smells really good. Good, really good. Yeah, these are good. This is... And it's like, like you said, it's not something that we really are stocking up on. It's more just kind of fun to get out and do it once a year. There are so many things you can harvest here and it's fun. Oh my gosh. Some of it we just go out to do it once a year and it's really fun. Yeah, I was thinking these fiddleheads and the um, fireweed shoots and the watermelon shoots were just gonna kind of be like a once a year thing like you were saying, but these are really good. They're actually like, they almost taste like something you would pick from the garden. It's a really good veggie to have. It's really good with the mushrooms too. I'm not quite getting a lot of morel flavor. When we soak them in milk, I feel like that tends to rehydrate them mm -hmm. a little more flavorfully-ish. Yep. Um, those are really good. And I'm gonna keep my food down because otherwise I'll just keep eating. <laughs> so the fermented ones, five days? Is yeah, done? usually could, it starts around day three. We could try those. These ones, I've already snuck a little bite. Those are really good. These will be ready in about a week. We obviously have a little bit of fiddleheads left, two cups. We're gonna be eating these for breakfast. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video.